Good evening. The D.C. Council has approved a legislation that would require big box retailers to pay employees a minimum of $12.50 an hour. And the council has done so despite threats by retail giant Walmart to pull the plug on at least three of the six stores it has planned for the district. Chris Van Cleve is outside the council meeting with what that means. Chris? Well, Gordon, what it means is the council elected to go ahead with this law, voting to pass it despite the looming threat from Walmart to pull out of those three locations, uh, Skyland, Capitol Gateway, and New York Avenue. And so really, it sets up a showdown of sorts. Let them go to hell back to Arkansas. A rally for higher wages ahead of a controversial council vote. Should Walmart and other big corporate retailers have to pay a living wage well above the district's minimum wage? Large retailers have the economic ability. Those people should be paid a decent wage. If this passes today, what I say to our city council, congratulations, you have just moved the ball 10 points ahead for Maryland and Virginia. In fact, Walmart says the new law would force them not to open at least three of the six planned stores for the district, potentially costing the city hundreds of jobs and lots of tax revenue. That's a stick up without a gun. I don't get the feeling they're bluffing. They, they, I, they came into my office yesterday. They met with the deputy mayor and I, and I thought they were quite uh, resolute. Setting the stage for a showdown with the mega retailer, the D.C. Council passed the measure 8 to 5, meaning if the mayor signs it, certain big national chains will have to pay at least twelve fifty an hour. Yvette Alexander's Ward 7 could lose hundreds of jobs if the two Walmarts planned there don't open. She's vowing to fight on. Today, I'm going to immediately call him and say, Mr. Mayor, please veto the LRAA. Okay, so you heard there, Yvette Alexander is hoping the mayor will veto what we've just heard from Walmart in the last half hour, saying nothing has changed from our perspective. This was a difficult decision for us and unfortunate news for most D.C. residents, but the council has forced our hand. So the big question tonight, will Mayor Gray sign this piece of legislation? When he was asked that today, he kind of ducked the question. So we don't know if this will become law. If the mayor vetoes it, there don't appear to be votes on the council to override his veto. So it may not be a done deal yet. We are live in Northwest Washington tonight. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News. Chris, thanks very much. And if Walmart does decide to scrap plans for three stores, it would have a major impact on the 52,000 people who live in those neighborhoods. Right now, the Skyland Town Center, Capitol Gateway, and New York Avenue neighborhoods have few options for res uh, residents to buy groceries. They are classified as food deserts by hunger advocates. For Capitol Gateway, the closest grocery store is actually across the border in Maryland.